So the source of the data transfer is somewhere in sector 54, negative 920. And um, I've asked LensCap here to go with me because I don't, I'm not really sure what to expect. Ahoy, salty dogs. Welcome back to Star Made on the Star Squadron server. My name is LensCap, and today we will continue our quest, our unending quest, for decent audio quality. <laughs> if you guys have been following my series, you know I've been struggling um, with getting my audio to sound good lately, and I think I finally got something that sounds good. Um, oh man, I way overshot my station. Um, we are in an unfamiliar cockpit, and we will um, kind of recount the tale of how we became in such a cockpit very shortly. But first, I want to show you some of the stuff I've been working on this week. Um, I did a couple of live streams this week, and um, uh, I appreciate everybody who made it to my streams. Um, I had several good uh, suggestions while we were doing these live streams, and many people showed up and uh, were happy to contribute. And, whoa, I need to learn how to control this thing. There's like some crazy lag spikes going on too, so... Okay, but anyway, we'll just hit C and detach our camera. Um, that way we can park our uh, recently acquired vessel and we will uh, check out the changes we did on stream. Now, I'm not, uh, I do like the live streaming. I think I'm going to keep up doing the live streams, but I don't think we're going to make it a, like a consistent, uh, we might make it consistent, but we're not going to make it like it's not, it's never going to be a replacement for our videos on the server. Right, so we won't do, like, new projects on the live stream or anything. Um, so if you guys want to make it and hang out, then uh, feel free. If you don't make it uh, to the live streams, then you're not going to miss anything. Um, mostly it'll just be us uh, hanging out um, and uh, doing some of the grindy work and some of the, um, you know, some of the, some of the detailing changes or whatnot that, uh, that we want to do. Um, in these two particular streams, let's cycle this airlock. Can we leave, please? Let me out. This ship, dude, like, it's, uh, it's a great ship, but it... Let me out! <laughs> I just don't understand. <laughs> Alright, we're deleting some blocks. I'm tired of dealing with this. Alright, now I can fit, so... Ugh. <laughs> We're going to do something better on our own anyway, but... Um, so let's take a look at the work uh, that we did on the live stream. Where are we? Here we go. Um, so most of it was detaily bits. Uh, two things that I wanted to accomplish, and I accomplished... I, I'm not quite completely finished um, with those things, but I accomplished some of them. Um, so you guys really hate the way that I build for some reason. <laughs> um, but uh, so my process is kind of like get an idea out, put pieces down and then refine it later. You guys don't like that. I don't refine it as soon as I do it or something like that. So um, everybody's been on my case about fix the lightning. I can't believe your lightning is not perfect immediately. Who missiles? Okay. And uh, so I did that. So we fixed it on the live stream. We mussied it up. And uh, now it's way more chaotic. It's a little bit more three-dimensional. And uh, I, I don't know. It's pretty noisy. Like, I don't know if I like it as much as I did. It's really noisy. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, but it does look better. So it definitely looks better than it did uh, being asymmetric um, like it is now. So that's definitely way better. Um, we also fixed the rust. Uh, a lot of you guys really didn't like the way the rust was symmetric as well, which, same kind of thing, fellas, put it down, and then we'll fix it, right? But, whatever. <laughs> so, we fixed it, um, on stream together. We had this idea to, uh, kind of lose some parts and replace the parts with scaffolding. Yeah, and I think that worked out super well. It looks really good. Um, little bits peeking through where it's, like, really heavily rusted out. And then I put some rust on the arms as well. Um, we decided uh, that it would be a cool idea to have where the arms are rusted through, have little bits of lightning like escaping 
um, from those big holes in the arms. And I thought that was a really cool idea, too. So, all right. So let's talk about this ship a little bit. This is um, this is Drakart Scimitar. And uh, for those of you who don't know, Drakart used to play on our server. But, uh, but he quit at some point, and um, Jace Machine and I decided to pay his vase, base a visit recently, and uh, we ended up coming back with some loot. So let's take a look at what happened. All right, so hey, um, I, I'm glad that you're willing to uh, ride along with me. We're good. We got some, basically, uh, for, for those at home, if they're not up to date, um, in the last, uh, the last time I put out a video, we'd, we'd gone... Uh, I took, I met up with JW, and we went back to my planet, and we found out that there was uh, the beacon that was on my planet had been co-opted, and was sending um, some sort of signal, and um, so I downloaded the data package from it, and I've learned that the laser was transmitting an R nine hundred T serial data um, signal overlaid with radio signal broadcasting music, which is kind of weird. So the source of the data transfer is somewhere in sector 54, negative 920. And, um, I've asked lens cap here to go with me because I don't, I'm not really sure what to expect. So thank you very much lens. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. I hope there's some fighting. I'm always up for a good fight. Yes, you are. You, you and your fighting, maybe there's going to be some boarding, but right now we're looking for, uh, <laughs> Let's let's board our uh, our vessel here, the destroyer. Prepare to be boarded. I'm a master of boarding craft. That's friendly. That is that's true. <laughs> I can get on <laughs> craft like there's no other no other business going. So, all right. Well, we're gonna take this away and uh, we're gonna go check out that those coordinates. Let me. Um... Sorry, I had to squirt the cat. <laughs> <laughs> I might leave that in. Damn you, cat! Damn you! <laughs> I really need a better name for my fleet. It's just listed as my new fleet. I like that. Um, I think you should leave it, dude. You should keep you it. You know, it's, it's classic. Well, what makes it is it makes it seem like I don't know what I'm doing, and then it allows me to totally um, sneak up on stuff here. Yeah, that's what it is. I mean, it, clearly you did it intentionally. It's not that you actually don't know what you're doing. That's right. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. I'm pressing buttons. Actually, I'm just saying boop, boop, boop. Uh, you thought I was really working, didn't you? I thought so. I really did. Yeah. I thought you were I, doing something. I was, you know, I was thinking about it, but all right. <laughs> all right. So, lens cap, I'm looking at this part of space that we're heading towards. It uh, oh, yeah? is definitely unexplored, according to my, um, my scanners. I'm going to take us uh, two sectors away. And then we'll come in and hopefully um, not have to worry about whatever might be waiting for us. I think that's smart. I mean, smart is okay, but combat is fun. But yeah, we definitely can. Uh, well, if there's combat, there's combat. But we'll go in, you know, and just we'll cruise in, you know, cruise in, see what happens. Sure, sure. Yeah, whatever you think is best. I'm, I'm with you either way. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. All right. I got my gun out. Let's see. Oh, there's a lot of asteroids here. We should come here and mine sometime. I this uh this is pretty close to the salty shipyard actually. Oh hey hey. Discreet shipyards incorporated headquarters. Oh really? Eight, eight yeah eighteen kilometers from here and we are getting closer. Oh yeah, it looks like we're headed right at it. Yeah. That's interesting. Looks like a couple of my uh, my fleet ships were here. The the World War fleet ships from uh, from the big battle. I don't know why they would be here, but oh, that's weird. That is weird. I see an Executive Williams on the overlay as well. Maybe we should ask I, him some questions. I think so too. Man, I haven't been here in quite a while. Yeah, I have not either. It has been a long time since I've been here. It this definitely looks, looks like... like some data transfer going on here. Yeah, we got the um, we got the beacon signals going here. Uh oh. No, 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 don't don't break the beacon. Don't break the beacon. I don't know what happens if I cross, you know, break that line. But I don't cross don't the wanna... streams, man. Exactly. <laughs> um, let's see if there's a place for us to dock, maybe. 
What you might now? it might be better to just stop where you are and spacewalk. All right, let me do that then. Let me just go get myself all aligned. We'll be good. Okay. Well, I'm surprised that uh, nothing shot at us so far. I'm, yeah, that is surprising. Gosh. I mean, there's a lot of turrets around. Like, I'm staring one right in the face. Watch out if you want it to get sucked up. Go down his his hallways like this. Is that how it works? No, you jump. Is that how it works? I don't know, but you're in the ceiling now. You just click on it. You just. Oh, you press just the use button. the gravity. Yep. Okay. Do we know where we're going? Um, not exactly. I'm gonna try to see if we can find some sort of operations uh, work area here. Where was uh? Where were those? Um, data transfer beams coming from. They seem to be uh, placed at different ends of the station. We'll have to uh, go out there and spacewalk to take a look at those as well. But since we're here, I'm just assuming, like, Drakart had been really suspicious the whole time. And uh, so I'm not at all surprised that, you know, the beacons lead directly to here, to be honest. He was a member, you know, he was a member of the, uh, the F... WC, the free worlds, whatever thing he was. I, I think he was in cahoots with uh, with G modism personally. They were pretty close. Mm hmm. Sort of. Oh, wait a minute. I found a restricted area here. Oh, I think uh, I think I found it also here. I sit on the floor so I can see where you are and I'll do the same. OK, there we go. Yeah, yeah, that looks like an anti personnel turret. You're outside this wall here where are you at i'm i'm right behind there you, you are then who's this guy executive williams that's is where he going? is no guns on the station hand over your firearms they will get deposited for later retrieval and you will get an id to indicate which ones are yours no i'm not handing over my guns yeah not doing it Please. i shot it Apparently, this Bobby AI did not want to uh, to kill us, though. Can we get through here? Yeah. There's no problem. Okay. Technically. I, I'm just walking through. How do we get to this guy? I want to talk to him. Lens scan ident. When ordered, look straight in the scanner. No, it's going to destroy my retinas. I'm not I've doing played, that. I've played Dungeons and Dragons before. Have you ever heard of runes of eyeball implosion? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Look, there's this... Look oh, I fell! <laughs> I forgot about gravity. Oh, no. Look at you down there. What is... Uh, wait a minute. What is this? Is this a thing? This ship? All right. Look into that, and I'm going to... I'm talking, taking a look at Williams here. Can I activate this? Oh, wait. I see one of the energy transfer beams. Um, I might have... Hold on. Do I have gravity modules in my pocket? God, I have everything but I need to keep some gravity with me apparently. Can I can I talk to this guy? R, right? Excuse me, Executive Williams. Greetings, space traveler. My name is DSY Executive Williams, and I'm currently a part of Discrete Shipyards Incorporated headquarters. I am under command of none in the faction neutral. Well, I oh. want you on my team. Yeah, I want you under command of lens cap. I won't follow you. <laughs> he won't follow you? What a dick. Yeah, no kidding, dude. I appear to have found some broken doors. Okay, here we go. Here's some gravity. I'm going to check out the signal beam up here. This looks like his shipyard main control room. Okay, so there's got to be a terminal in there. Then, uh, perhaps that will give us some light into what these... What kind Is of there... data these lines are transferring. I'm wondering, too, if it's the same stuff or not. Again, I'm having uh, having the computers back at my base like really go in detail, and, and uh, they're like parsing through the code, so 
the specifics of what's inside it are, are still coming to light. Like I said, it was weird. Like there was music um, that seems to be transmitted along with the code. Here's All a right. door. I'm going in. All right, I'll come in too. Oh. These automatic shutting doors. Come on, uh, cycle. Eh, there we go. It's the atmosphere cycling out. These doors are stupid. <laughs> What's this button do? Oh, oh I, I bet it ma bet it makes you I fly bet it's in a the gravity air. thing. Yeah. Whoop. Cool. Huzzah! I am here. Did you fall through and go back down now? Nope, I nope. sat down. Okay, I'm going to sit down. Also, everyone's probably like, "Why are you sitting? This is what fixes it." Starmate is so bork, dude. Like, if you play with other people, then it just will not... If for some it reason, it doesn't it understand where you are anymore, so you have to sit down to correct it. All right, I'm going to hack into the... Uh, I'm going to hack into his shipyard terminal here. And we're going to see if I can figure out what's going on with this signal. Mm-hmm. It'll take uh -huh. me uh, just a couple of minutes here, I think. It's Take your I time. Get... I'm exploring some of these other... I found a transporter, so I'm going to explore some of these other vessels that are parked here. Cool. Oh, here's an unnamed transporter. Let's see where that one goes. Uh, I think factories. I'm in some kind of factory area now. It's very weird and colorful and bizarre. I don't think I like it. Hey, Lance? Yeah. Lance! Ho! Oh, what is that? There's, uh, we, we got, we got something that just popped up. A lot um, of pirates. Um, I just got, we, huh, my ship should be able to take care of them. I'm almost done hacking this. I'm one, should I get out and shit. fight? Hold on, where's that transporter? Be careful. Be careful. I saw I'm going to take get, one of his ships. Get get eyes on him. Figure out who these who these are. Are these just space pirates? Raider class fighters. Raider class fighters. These are my freaking designs. What the hell? Damn it. All right, they just borked the shipyard structure. I I I'm going to have to just Hope that I got what I got. Uh, the shipyard compu computer is no longer working. Where the hell did we get out of here at? Oh, this is a nightmare. Where are you at? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm teleporting around until I can find... Uh... <laughs> I'm trying to find a way to get into that big ship he's got parked here. How do I get out of here? Oh, oh man. I'm close. I'm close to it. Okay. Oh no, gravity, not where I want to be. No, 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 no. Oh, this is bad. I just fell uh, fell all the way through. I'm, I'm below the station here. I'm going to try to make my way up towards, uh, towards the destroyer. Okay. I think I found my way into his, his ship. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Yeah, this shipyard is is done. I'll tell you that much. This is a nice ship. Finders keepers. Yeah. Privateer. All right, let's see what we can do with this puppy. These turrets are pretty phenomenal. That's uh one of his his design. His turrets are his pride and joy. He does uh, some pretty nasty turrets. Well, I'm gonna make quick that. work of these raiders. Then you said these are your ships, though. They were my ships, but I never finished this design. 
This, really? Like the, look, yeah, the one that I had, I had one that had some guns on it. And the others were just just ship shells. I actually hadn't finished it. It was a summer project that I walked away from. Well, I'm going to try and make short work of a couple of them. At least right. clear the area a little bit. I got missiles on this one. It's almost down, so if I oh. it's overheating now. So if it's if we can get close, we got then, a, We uh, got a second wave. We got a second wave. Holy cow, man! There's so many. Should we just abort? Um. We got to find out where these energy transfer beams are going. Oh no! Why you go away, ship? No. Damn it, Jace. Here, right, I can come I, pick you up. Thank you, because the destroyer is going to go destroy, and I accidentally was not aligned with it. Hashtag I'll come pick you up. Star made problems. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm hiding in the uh, the little the green glowing um, docking tunnel. Actually. All right. Well, you stay there. I haven't had a chance to really explore the ship. I kind of had to just dive in and. Okay, how many do we got here? We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18? Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Unless I'm counting they're, wrong. They're not really doing much to the shields on this thing, so... Well, that's good. I think we'll be solid, to if you want to fly around and look at these things still. All right. Yeah, okay. I got to um All right, I'm going to go I'm going to go down to the the transmit signal that's at the bottom of the station then. Oh, the pirates are shooting at the beam. That's They're trying to destroy evidence. You think? You think they're related? I mean, they'd have to be, right? It'd be too much of a coincidence if it wasn't. It's way too much of a coincidence, man. Space Pirates were there when I went to the plate as well with JW. Oh, really? Yeah, and a bunch of uh, um, G-Modism stuff with it was there. I mean, if we can find some sort of uh, signal or some sort of something that ties these ship, Oh, my God, they're coming close. If something we can get to tie these to G-Modism, then, then we have enough to nail his ass to the wall. But Did we find out? where the signal is coming from it seems to me like if there's an in and an out then this station is not actually the source it's just a relay i think oh, i really? got what i need i don't have enough i don't have what i need to analyze it on me right now but i've got the downloads from both of the units i'm gonna align myself to you here yeah hop try in to, do you s try to get around the back here where is the back it's it's there's the nope that's not the entrance Assuming, okay. assuming the I'm charging the jump drive. I'm just going to make a random jump. All right. To get us out of here. So yeah. you got the data. I've got the data. I've got the data. Well, now I'm, I'm invested. When are we going to find out what this data is about? Hopefully by the next episode. Are you ready to jump? I'm ready. I hope. Yep. Woo! Nice. Any pirates on scanner? No, looks like we're safe. We bagged a pretty sweet ship out of this too, didn't we? Yeah. See, that's your payment for coming <laughs> along, man. You oh was, man. You knew there was a reason to come along. Yeah, so, I think somebody uh, had to have been using his base as a relay. I wonder who it could be. It's probably G modism. I well, I mean, I don't know. I've I haven't been there. I know that I haven't been there since um, since he left, and I also know, like, I'm his closest neighbor. I haven't seen any weird traffic or anything through my system. Although I have oh. been busy with Tortuga, which is pretty far. Yeah, that's true. Well, I don't know. Um, uh, the data will hopefully reveal something. We'll figure something out. I think what are we're you, gonna do. I don't know if I you, plan on. Are you firing keeping. lasers? I'm not firing lasers. Are there lasers? I see what looks like cannon fire shooting out the front here. But I really wasn't sure what that was. <laughs> Not from me. 
Very unusual. Unless it's like some automatic cannons. Activate swarm of heat seeking missiles. You have a seeker button? Dude, do it. All right. I I hit the button. I didn't see anything happen. Oh, there it goes. They shot out the back. Interesting. I did that. I also oh, uh, there, another volley. Uh oh, let me. Sh oh, they're hitting us. Oh yes. <laughs> Did you, were you able to turn it off? I did turn it off. I think I turned it off at least. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I turned it off. I told you, Drakkar's machines hate me. Dude, that was a fan, that was amazing. Well, I well, guess you're back at the machine base then, huh? I'm back, I'm back safe and sound at the machine base in my, uh, my guest apartment. So, uh, thanks for the ride.